What's up guys, so we just came back from one of our best locations and we installed a gumball machine. We're it from candymachines.com and we only spent about $164 on it. So this location has a lot of children so we're hoping that the location does really good. Because the average gumball machine makes a dollar per day right so like $30 a month. So we're hoping it can make a little more like $40, $50 a month and we could pay it off in about like two, three, four months. Also too if you guys want to start like a vending machine business this is the way you could do it too. You don't have to always buy like the full line vending mm -hmm. the big snack machine. You could buy a little gumball machine. Called, it's called bulk vending machines guys and you could all these little machines and you could make an empire. Imagine you have one machine that is $30 a month. You have 10 machines that's doing $300 a month. You have 100 machines that's doing $3,000 a month. The possibility is endless. So right now we're going to answer some of our most asked questions on our trending YouTube video and just give you guys some answers. Thank you guys, by the way, for that video. Yeah, that video is doing so, so good. It is blowing up beyond our comprehension. It is growing 50, so, 7, so much. views, I think. Like 50, yeah, 7, like I can't even process. I wish I looked better in that video. <laughs> Man, I'm just happy you guys are making this money and we're making you guys money. We're getting like so many comments of people saying they're gonna start the vending machine yeah, business. Yeah, and they're DMs it. from people that are actually starting on, on Instagram that are showing us their journey. Donald's texting this girl in Texas who has a whole Man, shout out to her. She's watching this video, man. She's doing amazing. She already has two locations mm -hmm. and like she's just running it up. She's on, on her, gonna get a third location. It's yeah. like, it's, it's and she's great, located guys. in Texas. So, Hamina Eminez, watch out. She's coming for your location. Facts. So, what are the questions, Sekka? What do you wanna answer today? One of our top questions is always about commission. Everyone's always asking, what do you do when they ask for commission? How much should commission be? Um, How much should we price commission? Let me know about commission, commission, commission. And the gag is, guys, Commission is not required. Vending machine is what? A service. So your service is literally, you're doing your service for free. No one's paying you to come in and refill and, and do all of that. So why are they getting a chunk of your money when you're working for free? So what you should try and do is make sure your location isn't trying to trick you into paying like 50% commission or 20% commission or whatever. You should try and find locations that aren't requiring commission at all. Because remember, you guys are service providers. You feel me? Like Sarah has said, you guys are service providers. Say, and when you go to these locations, what you're going to say to the manager is you're offering them a free service. Mm -hmm. Like I'm putting a vending machine in your place for free. All you have to do is just allow me to use your space. You don't have to refill it. You don't have to worry about maintenance. Because the thing is, the average vending machine owner makes about $200 a month. So imagine you're already giving 10%, 20% to the owner. Like you're you're cutting into your margins. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's 200 gross. So like you could spend $100 on products and then they cut another 20 and then you have to put money for repairs. So like people have to understand you're getting a service. So if they don't ask you don't talk about commission if that word rolls off your tongue during an interview or during a conversation with trying to get a vending machine in a location you already messed up do not let that word roll off your tongue forget about it erase it from your mind you should not be talking about commission at all because you're providing a free service and a free machine like they're not helping you move it in there they're not helping you buy snacks what are they helping you with nothing they're saying oh because you're in my location i'm gonna get a percentage of your snacks ridiculous but if it's like a high value i'm talking about you're making like a thousand two thousand three thousand dollars yeah there are exceptions then you could give you then you could give commission if they ask because let's be realistic like schools and huge stadiums metlife stadiums if there's a vending machine there they'll ask for commission and like malls because they know they're generating thousands of people coming in and looking at your machine so that's understandable because you're going to be making way more money and those places you probably have to refill the machine every two days every day you know so that's different but like an office building why is an office building asking you for 20 percent 
of your money when you're making 200 300 dollars a month come on yeah, just make it make sense also too a question that we be getting a lot is maintenance about a vending machine the thing about vending machines a lot of stuff you could do on a vending machine mm -hmm. watch some youtube videos watch some tutorials how to install a card reader how to install um a coin mac there there's lots of videos there hundreds for you. of videos that you guys could do the only thing that you can't fix on a vending machine is the condenser mm -hmm. that's when you have to get like a specialist a condenser is the thing that makes the, the um the drinks cold on a, a drink machine that's the only thing you really can't fix but everything else you could do by yourself you could change bill validators you could change like Sarah K said you could change um coin mex and you could replace coil racks like another thing is if you really do come to the point where like your door is falling off and you really need help you can easily type into google vending machine repair company and they will locate one in your town there are a bunch of people that specialize in fixing vending machines or just fixing things and will come and help you so it's not it's not really a big deal literally google vending machine fixer upper vending machine repairman something will pop up and you'll contact them and they won't charge a lot we made the mistake of like trying to outsource a bunch of like these pro these maintenance issues on stuff that we could have done ourselves so we hired someone to key in our vending machine when we could have done it ourselves like if we just watched the videos or if we yeah. asked for help like we spent like how much we spent on the for the keys like probably 90 and we did it two times two, three times what he means by the keys is there's a bunch of videos we have on our channel um we broke into a vending machine and it was literally our vending machine because we lost our key and we had to break into our own vending machine and we had to hire this guy to drill into our machine and pop the lock open and open it it was like a long process it was very tedious but to be honest, if we had the right drill, we could do it ourselves. That's a fact. So try and save money that way, guys. Try it yourself first. And if you do absolutely fail, then you can hire somebody else. People always ask us, what is your pitch? Like, what do you say to these owners when you're walking in? Like, I'm scared to, to approach these owners. What do I say? That's so interesting, Donald, because I think we wrote a pitch for them, didn't we? Because we did write a pitch. Didn't we write a pitch? No, we did write a pitch yeah. in the, in it's, the in a, it's in our It's in our ebook, our cheap little ebook. That's what, $20? $20? Mm -hmm, $20. But I mean, I mean, if y'all want a pitch, we can give you a pitch. You know what I'm saying? We can give you a pitch. So what, 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 what do you say, Zach? Okay. So usually we walk in and we say, hi, we're a vending machine company. And we say what our vending machine company is. So we say, hi, we're DSK Vending and we're a vending machine service and provider. And we were wondering if you guys were looking to have a vending machine in your office or blah, blah, blah space, whatever location it is. Then they reply to you. Well, it depends really on what their reply is because usually we, when we walk in and talk to them, it's usually like, oh, I'm not the manager or I'm not the one in charge. So like, um, I don't really know what to tell you or... <laughs> So what we do is we're like, okay, no problem. Give us the number of, don't be like, oh, here's our card. This is how they get you. They don't get you a little business card. Oh, so the never, you ain't never going to hear from them again. What you need to do is say, okay, can I have the number of your manager, your boss, your whatever? That's what you need to do. Give me the number. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. I'm going to make sure I call up the guy. You know what I'm saying? So fact. after that, let's say, for example, they say yes. Like, oh my gosh, yes. Our break room really needs a vending machine. What do you say, Donald? Next, you're going to say, we can have the vending machine there in two weeks mm -hmm. give yourself a two-week time window and then next you know you gotta find the vending machine so you're either gonna go you gotta to move fast move fast you feel me because custom pe people like people that move efficiently so like whether you go find it on facebook marketplace or you go to the warehouse you put the vending machine also too we have contract you guys need the contract that you and the the business owner of the location you guys can sign it up a very nice neat official contract and we're not lawyers guys but these contracts work for us like very so, easy if you guys want to use them the link is gonna the link is gonna be somewhere in the description or you guys can use them mm -hmm. basically so you find the vending machine and then you're all set to go if you guys want to get a little more professional come in your entire me and Sir K have yeah, DSK we made vending shirts. shirts. We made shirts come for Come with your ourselves. binder. Come with your binder. Just come look with the official guys. Come with your contracts. And this is when you're going to pitch. When you're going to ask them. Pitch. Come looking official. Come looking like a real business, and they'll take you seriously. If you come in some jeans, ripped jeans, and you, and your shirt hanging off, and your and bonnet on, your do yeah, on. like babe, we're not taking you seriously. And also, too, just put, bring a list of everything that you provide. Like, these are the different snacks that we could offer. Yeah. If you have vending machine locations already, you could you could show your testimonials. Mm -hmm. And me and Sarah K, we do YouTube. So, so we can show people, yeah, like, hey. Yeah, YouTube channel is good. But if you don't, you can show videos. If you have something on your phone or anything that you have, you can show them. Those were our top three questions. So, guys, we are so happy to be growing the way we're growing. We are at 5,000 subscribers. We're 400K. So crazy. We're almost at 6,000. So this is just blowing our minds. If you were here from the beginning and you know how happy we were hitting 100, I hitting 1K, hitting 200, hitting, like 200, 200 hitting 500, like, oh, guys. And now we're just growing so tremendously. And it's all thanks to you. And if you guys got this far, give yourself a pat on the back.
you did this guys you did this for us and we love you so you love them for real <laughs> 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 <Deuces>. <laughs>